and welcome back to the amiibo hut where I was deciding yeah I just don't have enough amiibos yet so let's uh get into brawl here we got <laughs> zero suit Samus Yoshi complete with a blonde scalp after that we have the hero of Tellius as a Yoshi Ike Yoshi um not as big a fan of that one that one doesn't really translate as doesn't really translate as well. Sorry, my voice keeps going in and out. I'm turning away from the mic. Um, I don't expect this one to work, uh, but it's Charizard. Yeah, that just gets regular Amiibo Yoshi. And we have... Will this one work? I hope it does. Yes! Olimar Yoshi. Oh my god. It's Spines are Pikmin. And that's, that's a little creepy. Uh, last one for today is Diddy Kong Yoshi. Aw, that one's cute. Alright, which one do I like? Um, <laughs> it's finally starting to, like, loop back around. There's enough of them to fill up the whole screen and loop around. I'm gonna go with Zero Suit Yoshi, because I like that it has, like, blonde hair. Okay, and we're gonna head on over to... There we go. Okay, this is, like... I don't know, this is like house world, I guess. Or like nursery world. I don't know, I like it. Um, what weapon is worthy of Zero Suit Samus? Um, well, she's not wearing the Varia suit, so I can't have that. Let's try the no fall, no problem one. Don't know if there will be falls here. Brawl is where my amiibo... Oh, oh, I can, I can hook onto the scarves. Wonderful. Perfect. Um, Brawl is where I really start to not have as many of the amiibos. Um, I told you I didn't have Marth before, but I need to get Wario, and I need to get Meta Knight and King DDD. Um, that's where a lot of the holes in my amiibo collection are. Um, I could just go on Amazon and buy them all for outrageous prices, because same thing with, uh, Robin and Lucina, um, those sell for quite a lot, but I, I have better things I can do with my money. I was explaining to my friends, though, um, I don't regret how much I've spent on Amiibos. Well, I don't really regret it. Maybe I regret it a little bit, um... It does make me feel like an exorbitant spender, but I almost... There are times where I actually get more enjoyment on the Amiibos that I spent my money on than on uh, actual video games, because... Oh, oh dear. Okay, we're gonna see how this no fall works. Oh, nice. No fall, no problem. Good use of button. And there it is again, wow. See, now I can just be stupid. I picked the right place to use that. Um, there are days where I don't have time to play my games, and I have I have a pretty big backlog of video games in my collection that I haven't played. First world problems, right? I know. Um, but I always have time to look at my shelf where all my amiibos are, and that makes me happy. So, at times, I derive more happiness from my amiibos than from than from my actual games. And as far as, like, how compatible they are with the games, that's kind of just icing on the cake to me. Um, I don't mind that much that they don't do that much in terms of gameplay. Uh, otherwise, the Link Amiibo would basically be, like, $13 DLC for one weapon, which, you know, if this was, like, Fable or Capcom, that's what you'd expect to spend, but... How am I going to hit that? Ow. Can I... Okay. But luckily I can't fall, so... There we go. <laughs> okay. I can... I can't fall, but I can die. And I'm getting into some probably-going-to-die territory. Oh, look what I found. Hooray. 
Okay, guys, this is, this is hard enough without you. I don't know how to hit that, and I really want to. Ah, uh, down to my last egg. Uh... Shoot. Ah, oh, he led me. Did you see that? Did you see that crafty little Lakitu? No, I'm not. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up without a fight. I will hit that cloud. Yeah, yeah, that cloud. I'd hit that. I'd tap that cloud. You know, with um. I didn't realize I could jump on these guys. That does make things a lot easier. Okay. Can I... Okay, made some beads appear. Okay. There we go. Okay, totally worth it. <laughs> Was it totally worth it to you? Am I wasting your time? Hey, you're the one who wants to watch me. You want to watch me play Yoshi's Woolly World. Not as many people want to watch me play Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, this video is not nearly as popular as Vesperia. Or even as Pikmin. I don't know. You guys are busy, though. No hard feelings. Um, of course, the Fire Emblem one is the most popular. Oscar's doing a poll right now. Um, if you watch his reaction to the Tusk Killer Instinct trailer... Um, on that, he poses a question of what people want his next Let's Play experience to be. And it's between another Fire Emblem game with me, or to first do um, uh, Mario Golf uh, Toadstool t Tour, which would be another set of Q&As for the Green Scorpion. So... If you got an opinion about that, go uh, go over there and in the comments let him know what you think. Because um, right now it's 50-50 between the two. The other one actually, there was a third one. It's not getting as much popularity, but me and him playing Wakamelee, um, which is a great game. That that would be something different, and it's got two-player co-op, so we'd actually be playing at the same time. Um, I don't have a preference. So, really, they, they all sound fun to me. So, really go over there and vote for what you want to see. If you're, if you're the kind of guy who watches Green Scorpion, and if you're the kind of guy who watches me, then consider voting for one of the ones that I'd be involved with. Um, I think I would, like, be around for the Mario Golf one, though. I would, like... Um, like, I'd help him run them. Oh, jeez. Unacceptable. <laughs> it takes them a while to fall, doesn't it? Can I eat the... Okay. They are replenishing my eggs. Yikes. Okay. But now I'm out of eggs. Alright. That's okay, they got eggs. Those are actually called eggs. They're called, uh, spiny eggs. That is the correct term for them. But in this game, I guess they're yarn spiny eggs. Oh, don't kill me. I've come too far. There we go. Done. That was kind of monotonous. But I got lots of, uh, lots of beads. Lots of money. I still don't know if I'm supposed to be calling them beads. That's just what I've been calling them since the beginning. This level's taking me a while because I'm finding so much stuff. Finding so much stuff to do. <laughs> I love the fly guys. I love how the propellers are, like, holding them up by a single string. That's so funny. And the, <laughs> and the one guy down there is, like, not hooked up right. Marvelous. All right. Oh, okay. 
All right, I see how it is. Good thing I can't fall. So if I'm in trouble, I can just kind of... If I'm in trouble, I can just kind of bail out and I won't get hurt because I have a parachute. So yeah, um, these beads aren't aren't worthless because they give you really good power-ups. I just... I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. It's the same thing in, uh, in Donkey Kong Returns and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. It's that there's... That wasn't the best handled. Um, but I got it. Okay. Oh, I didn't get it. There's more. Oh, well. Oh, well. Not gonna get too upset about that. There's probably a flower involved, though. So I could have had all the flowers. Aw, oh, man! That's right. Got one flower. Okay, I'm gonna skip the bonus game for you guys, though. Nothing really interesting is going to happen in it. It's the same bonus game as before. You, you don't need to see that. We did it, friends. We got another friend to join our friends. What do we got here? Um, scarf roll, Yoshi. Okay. All right. I'm down with that. And what are we getting here? Um, a fortress world? Yeah, we could do the fortress today. Why not? Um, fortresses tend to take longer, so this might be a longer episode. But, gosh darn it, I'm ready. Oh, not the one I meant to take. I meant to take defense. Okay, um... Bubbles. Effing bubbles. Wow, they actually... Huh. Didn't expect that. Um, bubbles are incorporated into it. I like, though, they look... They don't look like real bub bubbles. Like... They don't look like soap bubbles. They look like rubber. Like, they still look like a sort of material. Um, oh, and I can pop all the bubbles. Okay, maybe I picked the right power-up for the job, too. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing as in... Am I gonna pop that? I was supposed to use the spear guy, wasn't I? Aw, oh, man. Um, maybe I can proc him back. Probably not. I think I'm out of luck there. Um, what I was saying was, in Donkey Kong Returns, there's power-ups you can buy. Oh, yeah, he does come back. Perfect. There's power-ups you can buy, but I never use them, because I feel like I'm taking away from the core Donkey Kong experience by having, like, a fall guard or an extra bit of health. Um, but I do use the, uh, the uh, parrots, because the parrots... Um, squawks. He lets you, uh, know when you're near a collectible. So I use those. I never 100%ed either of those games, though. Or any of the Donkey Kong Country games. Um, that's something I would like to do sometime, is go through all three Donkey Kong Country games and all two new Donkey Kong Country games and just 100% all of them. Um, having a little bit of trouble here. Shoot, come on. Okay. Gosh darn it. Okay, the, um, the pattern enemies can't be eaten. Good to know. You can't eat what you can't see in three dimensions. I don't know. I'll... In a way, cookies are kind of two-dimensional in that they're flat, but they do, they do have depth. They are more than one infinite unit wide. Okay. So the trick is going to be killing the spear guy so that he doesn't keep popping the bubbles that I need. Stop! There we 
There we go. Okay, because I need that I, I need that right bubble. Okay. That's kind of a neat puzzle. Okay. I accept your puzzle. Really glad I have watermelons. Because I don't think eggs break these things. But watermelons do. And let's try and get up there. Uh, almost. Up, get up. I could just get on top. Okay, I don't think I care that much. Mm. This is what Comic looks like when he's being stubborn. Okay, I'm gonna stop being stubborn. Let's go. Uh, jeez. Gonna draw out this episode, aren't I? That's okay, got a checkpoint. And got some bowls. Got some yarn pools. Anything up in this corner? Anything up here you'd like me to know about? It's shiny up there. I think that's just because the bubbles were popping now. <laughs> it's really funny that, like, watermelon has become a mainstay of Yoshi power-ups. You don't really usually think about it, though. I mean, it's not his eggs or his ground pound or anything. I also love the way Monty's run. It is just high enough that I can't get up there. Okay. Gotta drop down. Don't be afraid of Monty's. They hold no power over me. This game is making me want to 100% complete it. And that's just not... <laughs> that's not a good use of my time. Uh... There's so many, so many other games I want to play with my time. Um, yeah, can't decide. Can't decide what I'm going to do about this. Oh, almost. There we go. Window bar. So the cloud was actually... The cloud there actually existed to give you a hint that you could go up here. And that's cool. I respect that. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to have to get all of these beads. What am I going to get in return? A flower? Yeah. That might have been a little hard to listen to. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I think Yoshi might actually be allergic to watermelons because he cannot actually swallow them. Um... He actually, yeah, his mouth swells up, and he cannot actually get it down. Don't know if I've said this before, there was a, uh, I remember reading something in Nintendo Power, a, like, letter somebody sent in, because they were a, um, is it still paleontology if it's about dinosaurs? I get that and another word confused. Um... I know, you don't usually hear me getting words confused. I try to be the guy on on YouTube who knows what words mean out, out of my circle of people. But um, a dinosaur guy, a dinosaur gentleman, um, wrote into Nintendo explaining that out of all the dinosaurs, Yoshi most resembles a Cecio Mimith, which probably ate fruit, may have had a long tongue, but... Um, had proportionally long legs. Um, it's one of those, for lack of a better word, a uh, ostrich dinosaur. Um, I don't know. Can I bring one up on the screen? Yeah, that's a that's a CCO Mimith. Also, um, as long as we're talking about things with long legs, uh, this is a secretary bird. Um, I just learned about these. They're badass. Um, there's they're, uh, they're indigenous to, uh, Sub-Sahara Africa. Ah, oh, man. Can't. Um. 
Uh, they got kicks, man. I think that I think they're actually what um, Combuskin and Blaziken are based off of from Pokemon, because they kick snakes to death, and they can do like a whole bunch of kicks in a short amount of time. Really swift, really powerful kicks, which I think Combuskin's Pokedex entry said something about, like, it can deliver 10 kicks per second. They're not that good, but Secretary Birds, uh, they're awesome. Um, if you look up a video of them, you can find it, like, kicking a snake. Um, it's not a real snake. Scientists wanted to try and measure how much force its kicks have, so they got a rubber snake and um, put it by a uh, a force meter to measure the force that the secretary bird kicked at. Um, but you just see this thing, like, w wailing on this snake with its feet. Aw, oh, man. So, yeah, this has been another episode of, uh, Comic Zoology. Um, there's another lesson for you. It's pronounced Zoology. There are not... Whoops. Well, now is not the time to be teaching grammar lessons, John. Um, but yeah, a lot of people say zoology because they see the word zoo in it, but it doesn't have enough O's to be zoology. It's pronounced zoology. And coming from the word zoological, like the zoological gardens, usually shortened to a zoo rather than a zoo. But um, I'm not making that up. Look it up in any... in pretty much any dictionary, and it'll tell you the pronunciation is zoology. Um, that's one of my pet peeves. I hate that people say zoology, because it's wrong. I know English has a lot of things that aren't pronounced the way it looks like it should be, but that one actually is, and people are pronouncing it wrong anyway. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. Um, though I don't... I don't usually like, yell at people in YouTube comments or anything for mispronouncing stuff, because if I if I can understand what you're trying to say, I'm not gonna make a big beef. Aw, oh, man, I got all the flowers, too. Awesome, awesome. Awesome possum. Or awesome opossum. Both are correct. Uh. My gosh, going on some serious tangents here. Uh. While we wait for this looming purple mazy level to start. What do we got, Kamek? That looks like Monty again. <laughs> yep, I'm a tangle of yarn. I need you to stop the Yoshis from getting past here, but I fought a giant Monty before. Are you... There's gonna be a twist, right? Because I have fought giant Mar Montys before. Oh, now he's got a helmet. Eh... Wow, that is going to make things a lot easier. Oh, man. I'm going to wreck this guy. Yeah, you got your little army helmet? You want to be part of the army? Well, I have a machine gun. Wow. Yeah, this just got a lot easier. I don't even need eggs. Okay, he's got, like, a shockwave ground pound now, though. Uh, whoa. Okay, I can see the tricky... I can see the trickiness of this level. If I didn't have a watermelon, that actually might have been kind of challenging. Alright, you're, re you're recycling bosses, Yoshi's Woolly World, but at least you're keeping it interesting. I'll, I'll let it slide. Ah, uh, look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, that's another world conquered. Another episode of Comic Plays Yoshi's Woolly World under our belts. Um, haven't seen any belt-based things yet. They could do that. They could do some leather in the in the design. Yogurt you Ooh, yogurt Yoshi. Mmm. Alright, so, thank you for joining me and listening listening to me talk about animals. Um, animals is another thing that I know strangely a lot of random facts about. So, <laughs> next time I'll give you some more random facts. Um, we've done uh, talking about movie box office records, and now we've just talked about animals. 
Um, but if there's one thing I want to leave you with, it's don't say zoology, because it's wrong. The word is zoology. I'm the Comic Foil, and you have a informed evening. Wow, I sound pompous.